Hello, brothers and sisters. Hi, good to be with you today. My name is Christina, and this is... My name is Monse. And we are doing a workshop today on telling stories with balloons. We have this book for you, so you can have the stories available. And we're very excited. Monse wrote this book, and she's got all these fun ideas with balloons. But I'm going to help her with the English. Okay? <laughs> so our first story is Andrew and Anna. And the exciting thing about these stories Monse was sharing with me earlier is that you can have them ready for if a sermon is going long and you have to entertain the children a little bit longer in class. Or if you are invited to do a special uh, sermon or special presentation with the children in such church, or if you're a clown and you have to do a special presentation, or like if you need to do magic tricks, you can use these stories for that kind of a special event. So this is great to help you either if you class goes long and you need a special story up your sleeve and ready to go, or if you're going to do a special presentation. So that's pretty exciting to have these ready. So thank you, Monse, for find, doing all this work of finding these stories and, and making these balloons. Okay, so this first story, you use one balloon. So here's a green balloon that's long. So this is the kind of balloon we're talking about, just a long um the type of balloon you use for making figures or animal figures out of balloons. Okay, so with, just with one, how can you show us, Monse, how you make this balloon? Okay, hermanos, vamos a inflar el globo. So you inflate the balloon. Lo que vamos a hacer es amarrarlo. So you tie it. You tie the two ends together. Punta con punta. Okay, very good. De ahí. Tomamos lo que son las and then you take the two right in the middle. Las dos partes, juntamos. You pull them together. And then just amarramos. spin it around. Twist it. So that's that's the only shape we need for this story, right? Okay. Yes. yes. All right. So I'm going to tell you the story. And Monse will help me with the... Can we do this? Can you understand my English enough? <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> so Andrew is a kid who loved to go to school, but he was a naughty little boy. And he had a friend named Anna. She loved to wear a hair bow and look pretty. And they liked to get in trouble at school. Both Andrew and Anna would get into trouble. And they had a friend whose name was Alex. And he had a huge mouth. And he just had huge lips, and he loved to talk. <laughs> Alex loved to talk with his big lips. So they would bug him. And they would say harsh things to Alex. And he would cry. Anna? No, let's say Andrew and Anna would say harsh things to Alex. And he would make him cry. <laughs> so one day, Andrew and Anna... Very good. She's going with my English. <laughs> Very good. They had an idea to go inside their classroom and steal some stuff. So they went in there and they were sneaking around and they got to steal like the eraser and a pencil. When the principal came in and found them. Those are her glasses. <laughs> so the principal came in and went, <gasps> Andrew and Anna. What are you doing? They're stealing. And they had to go to the principal's office. <gasps> All right. So when they were in there, Alex came by with his big lips. <laughs> what are you guys doing in the principal's office? And they said, oh, Andrew says, we stole some erasers. And Anna, she says, we stole a pencil. So we're here in the principal's office. <laughs> and so guess what? Alex started to share with them. He said, I know someone who can be with you through all the hard times and the good times. And he started to share with them about Jesus. So there they were in the principal's office. And he's sharing, Alex is sharing with, about Jesus to Anna and Andrew. <laughs> Very nice. So he shared with them to accept Jesus into their heart, and they did right there. And then you can pray with the children. 
So isn't that a fun story? <laughs> I love it. And I love how you can use just one balloon. So it's perfect. So at the end, you can say, and then they accept Jesus into their heart. So you can use the same balloon and make a heart. Or go this way with the heart. Hmm. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> there we go. Nice. I love it. So that's the first story. So you can do various kinds of stories. In Monse's book here, we have both Bible stories and also like everyday stories. So this story with Anna and Andrew is like an everyday story. But we can also do Bible stories like Jonah and the whale or Jonah and the big fish. So for this story, we want to make a heart. Now for the heart, what we found is you can use the same balloon for this whole story and that is you're going to need a heart a boat a balloon for noise the fish and jonah and a smile and you can use this balloon and then we'll need another uh, another regular balloon so for starters you go okay <clears throat> god created you with a purpose and god had a special task for jonah the city of Nineveh was full of sin. And God looked down with his big heart and said, I love these people and I'm going to help them. I'm going to send Jonah to share the gospel of Jesus and to share God's love with them. So for heart, we found that even though you can do different tricks to try to make it stay, it doesn't stay. So I just suggest you keep, you just hold the heart with your hand. So you can go, the love of God with, with your hand on the heart like this. <laughs> so he sent Jonah, and Jonah got in the boat. So now for the boat, you can do, you could do something like this. This is the boat on the water. Or you can get another balloon and have like a sail on your boat. <laughs> So he gets in the boat and he says, I don't want to go to Nineveh and preach. No. I'm... So instead of going to Nineveh, he says, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to run away from God. So he runs away from God. And then a big storm starts on the water and the waves. And, and so you're going to want to make noise with another balloon. So we're going to use this other balloon. Once he's going to make noise. Ah, the wind. Lots of wind happened and waves. Ah, and they were saying, we're going to die. <laughs> so it's perfect to use one another normal balloon for the wind and the waves. Sounds very nice. Then everyone says, we're going to die. Let's just throw Jonah overboard. So they throw Jonah overboard. Wait, are you going to do sounds? So, first of all, it was really terrible, crazy. And then they say, we're going to throw Jonah overboard. Terrible, there's tons of wind. And then they go, we're going to throw Jonah overboard. <laughs> and the wind just died down. And it was quiet. And they said, oh, who is this Jonah that... We threw him overboard and everyone, the waves stopped. It was God. So Jonah's now in the water and he's like, <gasps> okay, so for Jonah, what we use is a little styrofoam ball. <laughs> this is Jonah. <laughs> so, uh, but you can use a little piece of garbage or a bottle cap or a little toy or a piece of um, paper all balled up. We use these because they're light and easy and we give one to each teacher. So before you blow up, you're going to put the ball inside the balloon. So you may not be able to see there, but there's a styrofoam ball inside the balloon. So, so you say, okay, and then a whale came by or a big fish and ate Jonas just swallowed him up. And then you show the kid and say, Jonah's inside there. So if they can't see, you just bring the kids up so they can see. Or you can have something bigger in there, like a little toy. So they can see Jonah inside the fish. 
he was in there for three days. So he was going, the fish was moving, and the fishermen are over here, and the fish, ah, there's a big fish, ah! And Jonah's inside there going, oh, Lord, help me, I'm in the fish. And then on the third day, the fish spits out Jonah. So it's hard to get the fish back out. So you can pretend. <laughs> and then he went and preached to Nineveh. And the people repented. And they said, oh, Lord, have mercy on us. God, save us. And God had mercy and didn't destroy their city. And they said, yay, praise the Lord, we're saved. And everyone was happy. So in the end, you can do a great big smile. <laughs> nice. Everyone was happy. So that's another way to tell a Bible story with balloons. And it makes it a little bit more fun. And the idea is to do the balloons right there in your, in your show or in your class. So what do we have now, Monse? We have also there's the idea of Gideon's army. So what do we have for Gideon? We've got, um, oh, in the story, there's three things. There's, this, there's a sword. So we can show, okay, how to make a sword. And the sword's pretty easy. Can you make us a sword? Someone's going to show us here how to make a sword. Just twist these balloons. Ah, a little longer. Nice. Very cool. Nice sword. And if it's not straight, you can pull on it. <laughs> Make it straight. Very cool. So the sword's pretty easy. And then for the lantern, we did this here. It's just a circle. And then here's the back. You can see how we tied it. It might not look much like a lantern. So you can say, this is the flame. Ooh, I'm going to burn my hand. Ah. So you can see. <laughs> Help the kids imagine that that's a lantern that they broke the glass on and showed the flames and scared away the enemy. And then the last one is a trumpet. So this one's a little harder to make. So Monza, can you show us a little bit the end? How'd you do the end here? So it, this is three balloons, right? Son tres. Three balloons. So there's one here that does this loop around. And then the other one you're going to use to go around this way. And then this end here is a regular size balloon. So she's going to show us the end regular size balloon. So you're going to tie that knot. You want to keep it kind of small. Then you stuff that end right through the middle with your hand. And then you grab it. And then you can use another balloon to tie it off. Where is the other one you had? So the idea with this is you're going to want to do making the balloons in front of the children while you, while you tell the story. So that's the best way to do this. Not having all the balloons done like we have them here. Nice. That's a fun little end to the trumpet. So then you just tie that end on for your trumpet. Obviously, it's better trumpet if you have all three balloons of the same color so they don't realize it's three balloons. <laughs> Well, they will if you're doing it. So the idea is to do the balloon right while you're telling the story. So that's the best way. So you're going to want to practice ahead of time so you're ready to do that. All right. So we have another one here. The Lita and the little sheep. So for this one, you just need one long balloon. And we're going to make it do several story, several parts of the story. It can be the staff. And it can also be the stick. So what we have here is the two styles, and you can see it here in the book, just the staff and the stick. So Lolita gets in trouble because she likes to misbehave all the time. So when she needs discipline, God disciplines her with the stick. Ah! But when she gets caught in trouble, like falls into a big hole where a bear is going to come eat her, then God can save her with the staff and pull her out. Whee! <laughs> and that we are just like Lita the sheep 
we need help with both things. When we start to go our own way, get in trouble, start doing bad things, God disciplines us because he loves us. And he'll have to use the stick. Oh, sometimes it hurts, but it's because he loves us. And sometimes we get caught in trouble or in a situation where we need him to save us. And he can use the staff to save us. Whoa. <laughs> nice. So that's one story you can use. And we have here Psalm 23. Share with them that psalm as you go. And also, one of my favorite stories is this. It's kind of like a magic trick that you can use. And I love this story from the Tower of Babel. The people said, we're going to become famous. We're going to build this huge tower. We're going to name it after ourselves. We're going to be awesome. And God himself said, no, and went against them. God himself said, you're not going to do that. I'm going to come against you. I'm going to separate you. We're going to give you different languages. And that sometimes we think, okay, we blame everything on the devil. The devil's attacking me. Ah, I can't get this done because the devil's attacking me. And the truth is sometimes God will come against us when we are like the people in the Tower of Babel. When, they, when we say, I want to be famous. I want to do this. I'm awesome. I want to become the greatest in the church. When we act like those people did at the Tower of Babel, God himself will come against us. Now that's when you're not going to be able to do something. If you have God himself against you, you are not going to be able to get anything done. No, but when you humble yourself and say, no, God, you use me wherever you want. I'll serve in the children. I'll do small things. I'll sweep. I'll clean the bathrooms of the church. That's when God can lift you up. And I like the song that Chris uh, Tomlin wrote that mentions there's whole army of angels on my side. Who can be against me? And this, it just gives you that thought when you, when we humble ourselves and there's an army of angels on our side, nothing can be stand against us. But when you lift yourself up and say, I'm going to be famous, I'm going to be the best. Then God himself comes against us. And there's no army of angels that can help you when God himself is saying, no, you're not going to go that way. I'm tearing you down. I'm separating you out. I'm giving you different languages. You are not going to be able to get this done. There's no way you're going to be able to do it. So we have this trick. Now the trick goes like this. When I'm doing it in my strength, I'm not going to be able to blow up the balloon. Let's see. Blow up. Blow. Move your hand. Let me see. Let me see. Blow that up. Blow it. You can do it. You can do it. And she can't do it. So that's where you share. In your own strength, you can't do it. But when God's on your side and you got armies of angels on your side, you can blow it up. Whoa, look at that. Woo. Nice. So that shows, okay, so it's a trick. <laughs> we'll show you the trick. There's, it's just a recycled um, drink bottle. It could be from a Coke or a water. And there's a hole in it. <laughs> Where do we put the hole? There it is. There's a little hole. So you want to hide the hole. Don't let anybody see that you have a hole. <laughs> nice. So when you say um, you can blow it up, you're going to leave the hole and you're going to blow it up. So you don't cover the hole and, and see la puede hacer. So you want to make sure that you're, you leave space there for your hand so she's not covering it. And then when you say you can't blow it up, you've got to put your hand, your finger over the hole. And then it doesn't matter how hard you try, it won't blow up. <laughs> So you can pass the trick to someone else, but they've got to know about the hole to cover it up or not cover it up. So it's a perfect little trick. Make sure you keep the trick a secret, right? So that it lurks fun when you tell the story. And I love the idea that, you know what? When we humble ourselves and God is on our side, nothing can stop us, not even the devil and nothing. And you've got angels armies of angels on your side. But when you lift yourself up and you say, I'm going to become famous, like they said at the Tower of Babel, I'm going to accomplish this. I'm going to be great. That's when God comes against us. And he says, you know what? 
he helps those who are humble, but the proud he brings down. So that's when it doesn't matter how many armies of angels you have on your side. It doesn't matter if the devil comes to attack you. You're, you're not going to be able to do anything because God himself is against you because you were trying to do it all yourself and get, make your own name great. So I love that story. <laughs> All right, so also at the end of the book here, Monty's got us some drawings to help you make the trumpet and the torch. So anyway, fabulous book. Great ideas, Monty. Thank you very much. These will be fun. And don't forget, brothers and sisters, to practice. Because if you can practice this, you can get it done uh, quickly. Ready, and you'll be able to tell the story in a good way. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.